opinion that he was a ge- what you call a geological professional. He worked for the company, and they would draw, they, they would take, what they, well, they would drill down into the, where the shell was, where the oil was set, and then they'd take pictures of it, and he'd take those things, and then he would draw the earth underneath all that. Uh, where the rock and that thing is, so that they could tell where the oil was. What was and, that? Uh, huh? What was that? Did what? What was that? What? Job called. What was that job called? That geological draftsman. Uh, you know what geology mom, is? Mom, study of mom, rocks. Mom, help stuff. me. <laughs> He loved baseball. He was watching baseball all the time when he retired. Now, Mommy, you guys would really love Mama because she would really love you. She was very religious. She always went to church. She always made us go to church with her. And uh, she never really had a job except being a mommy and a, and a wife. That's about it. But uh, she loved kids and and uh, she taught she taught four year olds in uh, in church. That was her job in church. Mm-hmm. And she died of cancer when I was in high school. Mm-hmm. So we didn't get to spend a whole lot of time there, but what we had was really fun. Mom, you the stickers. But that was about it. Ah! I didn't have such a you know in your face family. <laughs> what? What were their names, my mom said? Oh, okay. My dad's name was Alonzo Randolph Money. Called him Lonnie, and I don't know why they did that. Called him Lonnie. Mm -hmm. And my mother's name was Fern. And uh, he was named after her mother. Her mother's name, also Fern. Okay. It was really cool. My my great my great granddaddy used to own. They had a big plantation down south of Louisiana, uh, and they grew sugar beets. You know, what sugar beets are um sugar beets. 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 Uh, yeah. I don't know like what sugar beets. Bean. Yeah. You know what beet is. They go red night. Yeah. But they had a they had a whole bunch of property down there. A whole lot of land that they grew going. That's about it. Not with Tell them where you grew up. Land. Tell them where no, you grew no. up. Tell them where you grew up. Okay, so where did you uh where did you grow up at? I grew up in Wichita Falls. Stop it. So, right in North Texas, right on the border of Texas. Up. Dad, you're a man of few words, okay? But I was born in Louisiana. <laughs> hey, Mom. But I was born in Shreveport, Louisiana. So he was, he was, she will just, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta whisper, buddy, but she will, okay? You just gotta whisper, because Peepaw can't talk very loud over the iPad. And it's. So, um, okay, so he was born in Shreveport, Louisiana. That's where he gets his Louisiana accent from. Do, do your Louisiana accent. But. Hi, y'all. Let's say Le Bon Ton Roulette. There you go. <laughs> do your stuff together. Um, and then you guys, so did your mom die uh, when you were still in Shreveport? No, she died when I was in Wichita Falls. I was in high school. You I were was in high school. sophomore in high school. Right. Did, yeah. Cancer. Yeah. She, did, wasn't it, what, what kind of cancer did she die from? Breast cancer. It, yeah. it, it went from her breast cancer. It went into her bones. And, how do you spell that? A-G-A-I-N. Um, and then, hold on. And then, um, did, did when did your dad pass away? He passed away when, uh, 
I was out of high school. I was in the Navy. Oh, okay. So he, in 1966, when he passed away. Oh, I see. 1960s. Yeah. Um, so it, would it have been about 10 years from your mom? No, it's been less than been about, about five or six, really, because I was, I was uh, well, I was a sophomore in high school, and when my mom, then I was, I was already graduated high school when my daddy died, so actually oh. about three years. So, <laughs> here, you write down your questions, because I'm trying to, I have my own questions, and you keep interrupting, you just write what I'm trying to say, so it's hard to maintain my train of thought, as it were. Um... So, um, so what did you, was your dad in the military? Yes, he was in the army. He was in the army. He was a cook. He was what? Yeah, he was, he was a cook in the army. He was, he stationed at uh, Tacoma, Washington. And when, what, what, what war was he in? Was he Very in? The end of World War II. The end of World War II. So yeah. he was leaving the war when you were born. Pretty much, yeah. Well, well they, they, that's, yeah, yeah. Randy was, my brother was born in 1938. I was born in 1947. So he had already been out of the war for, uh, well, well, we well went for in, a few years. We went in in 45. He went in in probably 43. Yeah, 43. He went in very long. And then he stayed in until 47, so two years after U.S. got in. No. No, he, he, he got out before I was, I think he got out before I was born. Oh, okay. He wasn't in but about two years. So did he get out? He got out while the war was still happening. Mm. No. Mm. after Randy mm. was born in 30. When, oh, oh. Forty-four, and the war was over. Five. Yeah, but he was in a year. So. so he wasn't in very long. Yeah, he wasn't in very long. Um, what did your dad die from? Cancer, pretty much. I mean, it was that he he had a real bad drink problem, and we suspect that had a lot to do with it. It's uh. You know, liver. Oh. So you're so Randy was born one year before World War II, and World War II. Well, the U.S. Ver, uh, part of World War II ended in 1945. So, yeah. And your dad was out by 45. Yeah. And you were born in 46. 47. 47. Sit. Hey, Nico, please sit down, buddy. Yeah. On your butt, buddy. Not, I, not with your shoes on the seat. That's what mommy said. I have no food. Okay, we'll just sit on your butt, okay, buddy? And uh, let's not get that food on the chair, okay, buddy? Um, what else? Oh, uh, how old was each son when he died? Um... Um, tell us about your brothers. Well, of my older brother, Randy, he's, he's still alive. He's living down at Hemp Hill, Texas on the, uh, the lead of Ben Lake. They have a lake house down there. Hey, Peepaw. And he's probably around seven. It's okay. What did you say? What he, you uh, he was also, he went... Hey, hold on. Nico has a question. Um, do you have wooden okay. teeth? 
<laughs> he said, do you have wooden teeth? Yeah. Small bites. Small bites. No, I don't have bites. I'm not George Washington. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Randy, Randy's still alive in South Texas. Yeah. Who else was yeah, there? There was Norris. There was Norris. He died when he was 14. He died in a hunting accident when he was 14. Mm -hmm. I was 11. And, and then uh, there was me, and then there was Dennis, was the youngest one. And he died just, what? Five years, six years ago. Yeah. There's four together, including Doug. Dennis, Randy, your dad. Yeah. Norris. Adrian thought there was one more missing boy. No. Nope, just me, Dennis, Randy, and Norris. That's it. So what do you remember about Norris? Was he the golden child? Was he the best kid in the family? The smartest, the fastest, the strongest? He was. <laughs> so, so basically, the best one. Yes, of it, the best one left the he, family the earliest. He was. He. He was. The, I remember. He was a real. He was a good bro. He. he and anytime he went somewhere. He'd ask mom to take me with him. So we, we pretty much we were pretty close. I, I know. But he, he was, that, what I remember about him is he was active in scouts, in Boy Scouts. I made a pocket. And he was just, he was really good with, with uh, well, he was really good with Randy. We were good friends. But uh, he really. Oh, she, she needs those too. I was going to put them right here in the middle. More, I know. Yep. We know. We're sharing. She's just getting what she needs. No, Norris was he, uh, he didn't live long enough. I gave it to his I didn't know that. Yeah, I gave it to him and he died. I didn't know that. <laughs> they didn't give him the eat, but they they made this out ceremony in his name, oh, okay. and they. they so um what else now? so tell us about uh tell us about dennis because they didn't know dennis at all nico sit down bubba your mommy hugs and then sit down dennis was a free spirit <laughs> Uh, he, he was Very the artist. artist. He was Very the artist, artist that uh, your, that inherited your dad's skills. Yeah. Yeah, because he could draw. He, in fact, he designed a uh, I think I name of the band open album cover for this band. What what band? You don't know. I can't remember what the name of the band was. It was a local band that went through pretty good. This is their first album. There's out of Louisiana. Oh, I see. And uh, he, he was real good friends with uh, one of the guitar players. And they asked me. Uh, they, I think he, he drew it up for them. They, that's, a, that's what they put on their album cover. What um, very creative. What did he do for work? He worked for uh Halliburton. He, until he got hurt. When he got hurt he went to he was traveling around the country doing uh helping build a hotel with motels. He's a carpenter. What's but what, he's all over what was the that United first States. what was that first job? He worked with Halliburton. He's, uh, you know, the uh, 
big oil um, oh, oil and gas company. When oil when oil wells had problems, Halliburton went in and fixed them, and that's what he did. Oh, okay. Was he a handyman or was he like your dad? No, he was just well. He didn't go to college. I'm not no. sure if he even made that high school. No, <laughs> he took a course in computers. He was going to learn. Oh, yeah. yeah. But he uh, he was very good at building things and stuff like that. After Dennis got his hand hurt when he was working for Halliburton, he kind of lost interest in life. Yeah, it's entangled in in a uh, drug and alcohol yeah. world. And so he he'd make a living, but that was about it. Yeah, wasn't really motivated. Gotcha. It was it was pretty bad. Well, what else do you guys want to know? Do you guys want to know more about Grandma? What what else can you tell about your mom? She was a poet. Yeah, she was a poet. Yeah, she was a poet. She wrote a, uh, uh, a book of poetry. All of the poems that she wrote were about her four kids, her four boys. Oh. Um, does that still exist somewhere? We have it in somewhere. We have somewhere. some of them. Yeah, some of them. We have them somewhere. I, we, uh, I don't know where they are right now. I think they're still in the cedar chest. Yeah, they were in the cedar chest before we moved. But. Well, yeah, we still have at least one book. Well, there's your next. There's uh, one book became there's real your, popular. There's your next family Christmas present. Yeah. You can make everybody copies of the book. Yeah, we, we would appreciate it. I find it. We will. Yeah, I know she. She one of the books she wrote was called The Rose. Yeah. Poetry book, and and I, I remember that because she, uh, Aunt Ginger. Her real name was Rosa Virginia, and so she wrote this this book of poems and used her name on her on the title of the book. Called it Rose. Let me come mommy's around right now. So we'll have to find that for you. Come sit by me, buddy. We'll come sit by me. But she never really did a whole. Oh, she was she was very involved in scouting. She did. She followed us. Every one of us from the Cub Scouts all the way up into the Boy Scouts. You know, she was doing. She was a den mother for several years, and uh, just everybody loved her. I mean, she was. She was everybody's mom. She was in Toastmaster. Yeah, she was in toast, Toastmasters. She was. At the time, it was Toastmasters. They didn't have a Toastmasters. But. She was. Uh, Very involved in church. Yeah. And I don't know. Oh, I know that. The, the representative from Wichita Falls uh, spoke at her funeral. Oh, yeah, Kluzenberry. Yeah, he was the state representative yeah. from Wichita Falls that was friends with her and spoke at the funeral, which was... Well, she met, a, she met a lot of dignitaries when she worked in the Toastmasters. What's the Toastmasters? And, uh, What's Toastmasters? What's that? He was... Toastmasters, it's kind of a... Did you have this new public speaking? Yeah, it's a, like a public speaking club. They, they kind of train you into doing that. And I'm, I mean, there's big, big people like, you know, like state senators and there were judges and, yeah. and uh, pastors. Anybody had anything to do with public Something speaking was involved in it. And she's really, she was really good at public speaker. And uh, so that's, she really enjoyed that too. She was, had a lot of friends in that. I don't know a whole lot about her, I tell you, because I, I was just a kid when, it, when she did that. Uh, what are their, what are their full names? What are your mom, what's your mom's full name? I know I have it down somewhere, but Adrian wants it for right now. I've been Fern is all I've Fern, heard. Fern is all I is all I remember. I don't remember her having a middle name or anything. Yeah. It's Fern F E R N Fern. She, she was 
she was only about four foot ten. She yeah. was never very tall. She was always very tiny. And when Randy and Sue had gone, they were all worried about how little she'd be. And I said, well, her grandmother was only four foot ten. You know, why are you so <laughs> over anxious about this? And they could, you know, so to me, if one of our grandkids turns out to be four foot ten, it's reason why. Yeah. So, I think Megan got that, but she's the shortest. My dad was family, 47, so. Adrian. When was Fern born? Oh, gosh. That I couldn't tell you. I really don't, I don't know. I think that she was born, because I, I, it was born in 1910. She was, she was she next was, to the oldest. She yeah. Old. And Fern, there were years younger than her. Yeah. And so I think she was probably born about... Uh, um, Somewhere in the early 20s. Early 20s. Maybe the teens. I yeah. don't know. I think your, your dad was born in 1918 is what we figured out. Yeah. And she was born in 21 or so. I mean, what, was, you know. what was your dad's full name? Ollie or Lonnie? Alonzo Randolph Munson. Yeah, I remember doing the the genealogy, um, and um, I was able to I was able to go back pretty far on that on that name, because he you know his dad was Alonzo Randolph Munson, and then before that it was like wasn't it Alonzo Randolph? Alonzo Ralph. Yeah, there was an Alonzo Ralph. Uh, nine months. Yeah, in. yeah. Uh, I was able to go back pretty I mean, far with with that, but I wasn't able to go anywhere with your mom. That Alonzo uh, went a long way. I put all of that, and I've got it stored. Well, something that might help you a little bit if you were interested in doing that is her mother's maiden name was Cole. Yeah, I, I was able to go back a little bit on that. Well, Adrian, we, Adrian we would that. appreciate copies of whatever whatever you were talking about, Mom. The genealogy stuff. Okay. Well, I'll, I will. As soon as we get an office. Oh set yeah, up, yeah, for sure. We know. That. Yeah, we know. We're we totally get it. I, you know, scan it into the computer. It's where, just you know, if we don't say it, if we don't say it now it. while it's all in our mind, we'll forget about it. So. I know. I know, and I've I've got it all in a file cabinet, um, you know, everything. And the interesting part was on the Munson, we've got that all the way back to 1126, where it was in yeah. France. It was Luzon. Yeah, I think um, I think my from- I think my genealogy app. I th- think I talked about it last year with you. The the genealogy app that I have goes yeah. back. Pretty far, like goes back to France. Is it this one? I'm trying to look. I don't know what you. Yeah. And see, a tree. on. Uh, I think that's it. Grandma, they were all members of the um, Daughters of the American Revolution and Daughters of the Confederacy. So all of their stuff was recorded with those clubs, and. Um, so I, I know that Small, uh, Small. the lynching went back a long ways because um, yeah, they traced them back a long way. The Damon stuff was a little bit hokey. Yeah. What we got was what I got and put into, I put it into Ancestry when we were on the Ancestry, so it should still be there. Yeah, the app that I use but, links uh, with Ancestry. I just have to find their particular Yeah. There's several of them, and they all kind of link together. I don't have yours. So. I don't understand. I don't, I don't you know, know how to link other people to it. <laughs> what did you say? I think one of the neatest. I said I think one of the neatest things that, that I've done lately was when we went down to South Louisiana and we went to the cemeteries. And there's Munson's in the Catholic cemetery, and there's Munson's in the 
Episcopal. In, in the Episcopal Cemetery. Cemetery. So they that's where the months is. See, kind of crazy story is my granddad. Great granddad. No, my granddad on my uh, on my daddy's side of the family. He had a, a a problem with the rest of the family. So all the, all of our lives, he kept telling us all our lives mm-hmm. that he was the only son. Well, we found out that that was not the truth. That he was yeah, one right of oh. seven kids. Kids, yeah. And then he, his dad remarried and had six more, so yeah. there were like thirteen kids. Yeah. But but going down there visiting that and seeing all that and and, yeah, and learning what we did, seeing the old farm, the old plantation down there. I think the dates are. Uh, right. It was just this was all fun. And it was. Hey, Adrian found something. She's looking up. Yeah. She's looking up your dad, and I think I ran into this problem too. Um. So they're, they're, this thing is listing your dad as Alonzo, uh, 